How are you trying to save the bed and breakfast? Like, just are you recruiting people? I'm not are you tell meeting you at market? Because I don't want to spoil oh. the story. Okay. Yeah. Is there any insider info you can give us? Any exclusives? I'll have to wait and see. You're so mean. You give us a little tidbit, something. Um, there's a happy ending. Oh, and not like. Oh, <laughs> <dear>. <laughs> Alex, hey. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Achoo! Yeah, all over daddy's head. <laughs> Your arm falling asleep, honey? No. Look at that. That's a shot right there, honey. Act, act like we're doing a photo shoot right now. Strike a pose with that arm up like that and look at me all serious. Yes. <laughs> oh, the... So you know how Alex is constantly in the dog beds? <laughs> I bought her one of her own. <laughs> yeah, this is the perfect one for you. <laughs> She's like, I'm just lounging on the side here while I play some music. She hasn't gotten out of it since I put her in it. Super soft, like, I mean, ridiculous soft on this side. And it's got a really high back, which is not typical of a dog bed. But this one specifically, they made it extra tall. They said for extra comfort and warmth, like dogs care. But anyways, it's perfect for Alex. It's a little, little bed. She can lay in it. She can kind of sit in it. And yeah, I mean, look at this girl. <laughs> she loves it. And the backs are high enough so she can climb in and out of it, like getting all silly with it. Look at you guys. Is she is this really happening right now? <laughs> She's rocking the sleeveless top. <laughs> Woo! You guys, day one, solo parent. Rick is uh, has started his New film today. Today's day one for him, and uh, yeah, so trying to get, trying to bedick and down, but not gonna do, but get do. Try to get some stuff done. Had a list made. It didn't really work out the way I planned. Random stuff I have to do, like cut Callie's toenails, give Kelly a brush, fold the rest of the laundry that's clean and just lying everywhere. <laughs> I did get her a cake though. Got her a sugar-free cake. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what to do because her birthday's on Thursday, but I want to celebrate it at the park, super low key, on Sunday. But I want her to have a cake on her birthday, but then on Sunday needs, she needs a cake too, but I'm not paying for two sugar-free cakes. Those things are expensive. I'm leaning more towards the big cake for, the, for Sunday at the park. It's not a big cake, it's like a four inch, three layer cake. And um, that way she can devour it and she's outside. Maybe a cupcake on her actual day, birthday. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just, I think that's what I'm leaning towards, but I still haven't figured it out. That was a suggestion my girlfriend made and it is the one that makes the most sense to me. If you guys have any suggestions, leave it in the comments below. Please help me! And if you have any suggestions on what to do at the park, like it's literally gonna be, we're gonna bring blankets, maybe a table, put out some snacks, some random pastries, and just, you know, random noms. It's all just about hanging out low key, being in, you know, in blankets, picnic style, and hanging out. This little girl. Ah, I can't get enough. <laughs> you are welcome. So, I, it's just all me, all day, every day, me and Alex. So, wish me luck. Look at this girl. You guys, I think the bed is a hit. Yes! Mommy won. Baby won. Wait, how does that go? What's up, guys? So I am here with Rick Malambri, who is going to share with you what his first day on set was like. What's the name of the film? <laughs> Do we know? Wow, man. Can you tell people? Yeah. Forest Co. Forest Co. All right. Well, Rick Malambri, how was it? What, 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 just give us the lowdown, man. Today was long. It was the first day and they gave, they straight up shot us 
seven pages of dialogue to do. Like three scenes, but a total of seven pages, which is a lot for one day. And when was your start time? Uh, I had to be there at 5.45 in the morning. Yeah, like An hour away. Yeah, yeah. And how long were you there filming? 12 hours. So you were non-stop? Were you in every scene today? Non-stop, every scene, yes. But it was fun. It was awesome. The director's cool. Everybody on set's awesome. Great group of people. I like my role. I like my role. What is your role? It's like a rom-com. Tell us your character. What's he like? Uh, my What's character's his name? Andy. And I play a journalist who just got back from Afghanistan. And he is trying to help his mother save their bed and breakfast from their small town. For, um, what, the small town's going to eat it up? Yes. Yes. No, babe. We They're just financially said... going under. Okay. I meet this girl who also is helping my mom save the bed and breakfast from going under. We have chemistry, and, but she has a hidden agenda. And I'm not going to tell you the rest. Cause... Oh, dang! Yeah. I play opposite of Leah Pike, who's on the originals, uh, which is a CW show. My mom is Lindsay Wagner. If anybody knows who Liz Lindsay Wagner is, she was the bionic woman. Yes, the bionic woman. Who else in our film? I don't know. Some other people I haven't met yet, but fun times. And now I'm tired and I want to go to bed because I have to be back up at 4.30 in the morning. Too bad! You will answer all of my questions! No. <laughs> What's your character's wardrobe like? What's his style? It's, it's kind of, it's just like me. Like very relaxed, chill. Jeans, Jeans and t-shirts? Jeans and t-shirts and sweaters, like, like hoodies and... Oh, cool. Stuff like that, so yeah. What's the town like? So it's like, it's a small town or is it like a city? No, it's a total small town. It's like in the middle of nowhere. It's farmish type of area. It's very historical kind of town. Are there horses? Yes. Do the horses just go There's through town? Orchards. There's orange, orange orchards. Are people just riding horses through town? No. Are there wagons? Yes. There I are? drove one today. Oh, no, I'm in a horse... Horse oh, no, 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 not a horse wagon, but like a trailer tractor wagon. Hey, it was a hayride. I took uh -huh. this girl on a hayride. What's her name? I will cut her. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of face I just made. It was, what's her name? I will cut her. <laughs> How much do you relate to your character? I can relate to him traveling and working and being away from his family to do what he wants to do and not feel like he needs to be stuck at home town and run his family's business and stuff like that. But yet you are. And I he is. I come back to help, yes. <laughs> but I don't, I don't... Shame on you, Andy. You're such a bad son. But as you much leave as your I, mom. But as much as I <laughs> want to see my mom, I despise going home. I dread going home because every time I go home, it's not like going home to a vacation. It's like, Andy, do this. Andy, fix this. Can you fix mm. this? I become the handyman. But and now you've met this girl. And I met this girl. And, and you're like, darn, why didn't I move back sooner? She's helping me fix everything up. And I like her and she's nice. Does Andy have any pets? No. No pets? No pets. Does Andy's mom have any pets? No. What? What kind of small town is that? No pets? Horses and no pets. That doesn't sound like small town she to me. She doesn't have time. She runs a bread and breakfast. Bread and breakfast? Bed and breakfast. <laughs> bread and breakfast. I want to go to sleep. I just picked a thing on my arm and now it's beating. Oh, gross! Whoa. Check this out. What is it? Blood. Gross, babe. <laughs> you were sucking blood out of your arm? Are you a vampire? I'm a vampire. All right, well that's all you guys get for today. Well, I'll try to get some more. A ask away, if you got, you got any questions for Rick, write it in the comments below and I'll ask him tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog and try to get them answered for you. So ask away, write it in the comments, write it all, even if you wanted to say hi and stuff. It's time for makeout and to blackout. You ready for this? You ready for this, Andy? You wanna cheat on Diane? Yes. Oh yeah, makeout is big old. Get on your doggy. Oh, yeah. I feel like a big spider or something. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas everywhere we turn. Or it looks like a toy land. 
where the babies go and play with all of the toys. That's why it's called Toyland.